Hi, and welcome to the Uncapsulous demo. I'm Michael Kasberg with Level 10 Interactive. Uh, we're here to discuss the theory behind the Uncapsulous module, and afterward, I'll walk you through the installation process and kind of show you how it works. The Uncapsulous module was created by Dustin Curry, a developer here at Level 10. Uh, Dustin's idea was to create an unobtrusive anti-spam form as an alternative to those annoying uh, human-to-computer interaction uh, challenge response tests such as you get with CAPTCHA. The Uncapsulous module differs from other spam blocking modules in two ways. First of all, there is no human-to-computer interaction required such as you get with CAPTCHA. Uh, the other is that form data is not submitted to a third-party server for analysis uh, like you would get with Mollum. Now you may be thinking, if there is no human-to-computer interaction, how exactly does the Uncapsulous module work? The Uncapsulous module uses two techniques to block bot form submission. The first is the honeypot. Basically, a text field labeled email is inserted into forms and then hidden from the user using CSS. However, when a bot scans the form, it recognizes this field and fills it out. When the form is submitted, it is only validated if that field is empty. The second way is through the magic number technique. Basically, a random number is generated server-side, and then three empty hidden input fields are created, two of which contain numbers that, when added together, result in the server-generated number. JavaScript sum these, sums these two numbers and then puts that in the third empty field. If that number doesn't match the server-generated number, the form will not validate. This works because bots do not have JavaScript capabilities. Now, I've installed the module on a test site that I have up, and let's go over there and I'll show you exactly how it works. Okay, so you'll see here that I have a test site up, and I've installed uh, the web form module, which has allowed me to create a web form that I've just called newsletter for this demo. The first thing we're going to do is enable the Uncapsulous module. So I'll go over to modules click Uncapsulous and save that configuration. Now that the Uncapsulous module is installed, we need to configure it. So we'll go to Site Configuration and choose Uncapsulous. You'll see here it already has some of the options checked for you, such as hidden JavaScript actions and the honeypot field. Down here, there are a couple of different options you have, and I like to use the Use on Every Form Except Listed Form IDs. Uh, this way, Uncapsulous can cover every content and every form submitted on your site. So we will save configuration. Now the good thing about this module is that there really isn't much left to demonstrate uh, because Uncapsulous is designed to run in the background. However, I will show you that when submitting a form, a front-end user never even knows that Uncapsulous is there. So we'll go back to the form that I said I created earlier and this is just a basic email form so I'll put in my name my and I will submit that and there you go you have a confirmation and you never knew that the spam blocking form was in effect so I know you're thinking well how do I know it's working then the easiest way for me to show you that this is actually working is to go back and resubmit the form with CSS turned off. You'll remember the honeypot field works because there is a field called URL that is hidden from the user using CSS. So let's go back and view the form through the eyes of a bot. So I'll go here to page style, turn off my CSS, and you'll see the page as a bot would. We still have the form, but you'll see here that there is an extra field for us to fill out. So I'll fill out the rest just as I did before. And in the URL, I will uh, put something kind of spammy maybe, just uh, just any kind of URL really. And let's just say freecookies.com. And we'll submit that and you'll see here you have been detected as a bot. So the honeypot field again is in effect because this URL is hidden from most users using CSS. Bots see it and when that field is filled out the form will not validate. The Uncapsulous module works on both web forms and new content submissions. So if you're looking for an unobtrusive way 
for your users to fill out web forms or submit content to your site, the Encapsulus module is a great fit. It's very simple to install and enable, and it's extremely user friendly. If you have any questions or feedback of any sort, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll get a dialogue going. Otherwise, look for more screencasts in the future, and until then, happy Drupaling!